I strongly suggest those diagnosed with depression or think they might have depression seek treatment. Those of you that have asked about my personal struggles with depression, I'm making this video to inform you. I've been diagnosed for five years now, starting when I was a child. I didn't always used to be, uh, like, it's. I had a dramatic change in personality. Like, I used to wear really bright colors, then I, you know, started looking a bit more darker. I couldn't, I didn't do my schoolwork as well, so I went to, um, when I was in the fourth grade, play therapy. The, um, the lady suggested that I go into vision therapy because, to fix my concentration problems. I wore glasses for a while, and I seemed to get better. But at this point, they didn't know I had depression. They thought I did. When I entered the sixth grade, I started having suicidal thoughts. And so they decided, my parents, uh, along with the guidance department, started sending me to talk therapy. I continue to see this therapist now only when I need to because I've been getting much better. Um, my therapist strongly suggested that I go see a psychiatrist to get medicine prescribed. And I'm going to talk mainly about medication for depression. I've been on medication for um, years now. Um, at the very beginning, I started with Zoloft. And then after a while it was working, we increased the dosage, but we didn't try anything new until I went to the hospital. I w only had one episode where I went to the hospital because of the, my depression. I stayed there for five days, and the reason why I went there is because I was cutting myself on the wrist. After that, when I was in the hospital, they decided to change my medication. The medication change gave me side effects, and my legs seized up. I, it w I was in horrible pain, it w and ar around uh, 11 o'clock at night, we went back to the hospital where I went and stayed for five days because they had my records. Uh, they did tests on me. They basically decided, you know, you need to get off this medication right away because this, the what was happening was under the list of severe, rare but severe side effects. Um, after that, I started seeing a new psychiatrist because my old psychiatrist transferred. Um, after I got off the stuff that made me uh, have the bad side effects, I went on to Cymbalta. And from Cymbalta, uh, just recently, I went back on to Zoloft. If, and somewhere in between there, after just adding Cymbalta, we added Ritalin to it. And I'm still on Ritalin now. And and now I'm off of the Cymbalta, but I still have the Ritalin with the addition of the Zoloft again. I take my medication so that it helps me along this very difficult journey I'm on to get better and to be comfortable, you know, in my own skin. If you suffer to, from depression, I really hope that you get help. If you know somebody who's hurting themselves or is in pain, I want you to be there for them. I'd prefer to, myself to be there for other people than just to be, you know, focusing on myself. I, I really, really have a bad self-esteem problem which goes along with the depression, but like, I much prefer to focus on others than myself. And so, I hope that, you know, if you have depression, you know what it's like so you can be there for others. If you have a friend that you think that's just a little bit too moody sometimes, or too down, I'd like you to be there for them. Um, if you know somebody who's going to, is, is hurting themselves or going to attempt to kill themselves, I hope that you help them. And, um... Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.